How to reduce fever and body ache. The combination of a fever and body aches are usually caused by bacterial or viral infection, most commonly viruses like cold and flu. Viral gastroenteritis stomach flu, pneumonia often bacterial, and urinary tract infection bacterial also manifest with fever and body aches. Bacterial infections can be treated with antibiotics, but viruses are usually allowed to run their course. There are many possible explanations for muscle aches without fever, and treatment depends on the cause. In either case, there are steps you can take to minimize discomfort and speed up the healing process. Getting medical attention for muscle aches with fever. Visit your doctor. If you have signs of fever and body aches together, the first thing you should do is contact your doctor. She will be able to diagnose the cause and recommend a course of treatment. When muscle aches are accompanied by fever, the treatment is often something that requires professional intervention. Tick or insect bites can cause a variety of conditions, including Lyme disease, that must be treated by a doctor. A recent medication change may trigger flu-like symptoms. Never adjust your own medications without consulting your doctor. Metabolic disease often presents as lower extremity pain that increases with exercise. It must be treated by a doctor. Tick or insect bites can cause a variety of conditions, including Lyme disease, that must be treated by a doctor. A recent medication change may trigger flu-like symptoms. Never adjust your own medications without consulting your doctor. Metabolic disease often presents as lower extremity pain that increases with exercise. It must be treated by a doctor. Take ibuprofen or acetaminophen Tylenol. Greater than both types of over-the-counter medicine help to reduce fever and reduce body aches. Ibuprofen prevents temperature increase and reduces the levels of prostaglandin hormones that cause the feeling of pain and cause inflammation. Acetaminophen reduces pain in the central nervous system and relieves fever, but does not reduce inflammation. Alternating between them may be more effective at reducing fever and body aches than choosing one or the other. Do not double the dose. Follow the directions on the packages. Alternating medicines can help prevent negative side effects from taking too much of one drug. Chronic use of NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can lead to gastrointestinal bleeding including gastritis and ulcer disease. This is because NSAIDs destroy the protective lining in the stomach. Do not give children aspirin. Though safe for adults, aspirin use in children may lead to Reyes syndrome, a serious disease of the brain and liver that is more common after a bout of the flu or the chicken pox. This condition can be potentially fatal. If you suspect your child has it, you should seek emergency medical attention. Symptoms occur shortly after the child takes the aspirin, and include, ns 8 greater than lethargy mental confusion seizures nausea and vomiting. Ask your doctor about antiviral medication for the flu. Viral infections are usually spread through close contact and careless hygiene. Though viral infections like the flu will run their course on their own, you may choose to ask your doctor for antiviral medication to shorten their duration. Symptoms include muscle soreness and generalized fatigue along with a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Some patients can also have upper respiratory symptoms such as headache, runny nose, chills, sinus pain and sore throat. Getting an annual flu vaccine significantly reduces your chance of getting the flu. Your doctor may decide to prescribe oseltamivir if you have not had symptoms for greater than 48 hours. A common dosage for this medication is 75 mg twice daily within 48 hours of the onset of your symptoms. Take antibiotics to treat bacterial infection. Greater than if your doctor suspects that a bacterial infection is causing your symptoms, she will prescribe antibiotics. Antibiotics are not effective against viral infections. However, they can kill bacteria in the body and or stop them from continuing to reproduce. This allows the body's natural defenses to fight off the remaining infection. The kind of antibiotic you take depends on the specific bacterial infection you have. The doctor will order a lab analysis of a blood sample to determine which bacteria is causing your symptoms.